Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to solve numerical example using backpropagation algorithm in artificial neural network. In previous video, I have solved few example. Link for those videos are given below. In this case, we have been given the following neural network where we have two neurons in an input layer, two neurons in a hidden layer and one neuron in an output layer. Let the learning rate be 0.5. Here we need to train the network for the training tuple that is 1, 1, 0 where 1 and 1 are the input and 0 is the target output. Also along with this we have been given the initial weights that is W13 is equal to 0 0.5, W14 is equal to 0 0.6, W23 is equal to minus 0 0.3 and so on. Also bias is with respect to neuron 3 that is B3 is equal to 0 0.6 and with respect to neuron 4 that is B4 is equal to minus 0 0.4 and with respect to neuron 5 that is B5 is equal to 0 0.8. In this case, we need to update weights and biases using backpropagation algorithm. Assume that sigmoid activation function is used in the network. In the backpropagation algorithm, the first step is initialization. These are the inputs and output for the given problem. Here x1 is 1, x2 is 1. These are two inputs and output is 0 as we defined in the problem definition. These are the initial weights and biases. A learning rate that is L is equal to 0.5. Here we use a sigmoid function as an activation function. Here we find the sigmoid activation function that is sigmoid is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus e raised to minus x. In the first iteration, input and output values are known. First, we need to calculate the input and output for each layer. First, we will calculate for the input layer. For the first layer, Output is equivalent to input. So, output at x1 which is equal to input at x1 which is equal to 1. Similarly, output at x2 which is equal to input at x2 so which is equal to 1. Similarly, we will find the input and output for a hidden layer. First, we will consider the neuron 3. In this case, we need to find the input at neuron 3 that is i3 output at x1 into w13 plus output at x2 into w23 plus bias at neuron 3 that is b3. So, once you put all those values, we will get i3 which is equal to 0.8. Once you find the input at neuron 3, the next step is to find the output at neuron 3. To find the output, we use the sigmoid function. In this case, we will replace x by i3. So, we will get O3 that is output at neuron 3 which is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus e raised to minus i3. We know the i3 value. So, we will replace i3 by 0.8. So, we will get output at neuron 3 which is equal to 0.69. Similarly, we will find the input at neuron 4 which is equal to i4. So, i4 which is equal to output at x1 into w14 plus output at x2 into w24 plus bias at a neuron 4 that is b4 which is written here. Once you put all those values we will get input at neuron 3 which is equal to 0.3. Once you find the input at neuron 4 the next step is to find the output at neuron 4. In this case we use a sigmoid function here we will replace x by i4. So O4 which is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus e raised to minus i4. We know the i4 value that is 0.3. So, output at neuron 4 which is equal to 0.5744. The next step is to find the input and output at the output layer. So, first we need to find the input for the output layer that is i5 which is equal to output at neuron 3 into w35 plus output at neuron 4 into w45 plus bias at neuron 5 that is b5 which is written here. Once you put all those equations we will get i5 which is equal to 1.0413. Once you find the input the next step is to find the output. 
here we will replace x by i3 we know the i3 value so we will get o5 which is equal to 0.7391 once you find input and output values at each layer the next step is to calculation of the error at each node to calculate the error we use the following formula that is error at j which is equal to oj multiplied with 1 minus oj multiplied with tj minus oj where o is the output at each node t is the target which is equal to zero here in this case we have only one output layer that is at neuron phi so we will calculate error at phi which is equal to output at neuron phi multiplied with 1 minus output at neuron phi multiplied with target minus output at neuron phi here we know the output at neuron phi which is equal to 0 0.7391 and target is 0 once you calculate this one we will get error at phi which is equal to minus 0.1425 now we need to back propagate this error to the hidden layer that is at neuron 3 and neuron 4 and that can be done with the help of this equation that is error at the j layer which is equal to oj multiplied with 1 minus oj multiplied with summation of error at k wjk for all k where k goes from output neurons here we have only one output layer so k will become phi so this summation will become error phi wj phi first we will find error at fourth neuron that is error at fourth neuron which is equal to oj will become o4 that is output at fourth neuron multiplied with 1 minus o4 multiplied with error at phi into w j will become 4 k is already 5 so it will become w4 5 it is shown here in this case we know the o4 value we know the error 5 value we know the w4 5 value that is written here once you calculate this one we will get error 4 which is equal to minus 0 0.010451 Similarly, we will find error at third neuron which is equal to multi output at third neuron multiplied with 1 minus O3 multiplied with error at fifth neuron into W. J will become 3, so it will become W35. Here we know the W35 value that is equal to 0.1. Uh, once you put all those equations and once you solve, we will get error at third neuron which is equal to zero minus 0 0.003481. Once you find the input and output at each level and error at each neurons, the next step is to update the weight. To update the weight, we use the following formula that is Wij new which is equal to Wij volt plus L that is learning rate into oi into error j first we will update the weight at output layer that is w45 new which is equal to w45 volt plus l into o4 and error 5 so we know the w45 volt that is equal to 0.3 which is written here l is 0 0.5 w4 is 0 5744 and error 5 is minus 0.1425. Once you calculate this one, we will get W45 new, which is equal to 0.2591. Similarly, we will find uh, W35 new, which is equal to W35 volt plus L into O3 into error 5. So we know the W35 old value and uh, error 5 value, O3 value, and L value. Once you put all these values and once you calculate we will get w35 new which is equal to 0 0.0508 similarly we will find the updated weight at hidden layer w24 new which is equal to w24 old plus l into o2 into error 4 which is equal to 0.494775 and for w14 new which is equal to 0.194774 w23 new which is equal to minus 0 0.3015 and w13 new which is equal to 0.4984 once you update the weight the next step is to update the biases that can be done with the help of this formula 
that is bj nu which is equal to bj old plus l into error j first we will update the biases at hidden layer so b3 nu which is equal to j is replaced by 3 so b3 old plus l into error 3 we know these all values so once you put these values we will get b3 new which is equal to 0.5984 and for b4 new which is equal to b4 old plus l into error 4 which is equal to 0.4052 similarly for the b5 new which is equal to b5 old plus l into error 5 so which is equal to b5 new which is equal to 0.7288 in this case, I have solved for only one iteration. The same thing has to be repeated until we get accepted error at output layer neuron. Or we need to complete the required number of iterations. I hope the concept of backpropagation algorithm in artificial neural network is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.